The ideal uh, future for us is where our patients uh, are our first primary doctor, meaning they are in charge of their health care because the place for delivering health care is not hospital or clinics. That's where we do sick care. Health care should be done at home and the doctor at home is patient itself. That's really a paradigm shift that needs to happen. Uh, it could be expedited with uh, advancement in information technologies and low-cost medical technologies and uh, hopefully some reform in our regulatory uh, processes that FDA is dealing with. Patients need to check uh, their status of health and hopefully we'll be able to enable them because just information is not enough. It is empowering but it's not enough because at the end of the day uh, the, the key to the box is at the doctor's hand. Patients can't find out the risk of uh, coronary disease so patients have some ability to go and ask their doctors and hopefully with this new guidelines the doctors are now uh, pressed harder to learn about methods of identifying hidden uh, risk of uh, coronary disease and uh, atherosclerotic cerebrovascular disease. Uh, patients who fall into shape age categories, those who are 45 year olds, uh, male and, and higher up to 80, and 55 year old female and higher, uh, they simply need, if they have at least one risk factor, could be a slight uh, a slightly high cholesterol, a slightly high blood pressure, nothing alarming, very slightly high of each of those, uh, they need to ask their doctor, well, how do I know if I don't have plaque? How do I know if I uh, don't have a ton of plaque in my uh, coronaries? Especially those who have some uh, significant level of family history, first degree, brothers, sisters, uh, parents, uh, or combination of of those. Unfortunately, this accounts for about 90% of Americans. Only very few, less than 5-6% are considered very low risk. So those people should not just go on as they do. And this is a disease that can be easily prevented and incorporated in their lifestyle for a total safe prevention of heart attack. This is not HIV 10 years ago that you were so afraid of knowing if you were HIV positive because you couldn't do anything about it. For this disease, we know we have treatment and the sooner you start, the better off you are.